Welcome back guys. You might notice a little something different. <laughs> if you guys follow me on my socials, I posted that I dyed my hair and I've got a lot of highlights in it now. I actually love, love, love the color and it's such a big change and I wanted to do a makeup look that kind of goes with this hair. So I went for this kind of greeny bronzy vibe on the eyes, peachy lips. I used only one eyeshadow palette for this entire eye makeup look. So this is super easy to do. So let's get started. This is the main palette I'm going to be using for this look today. I just loved the bronzy tones and the greens. I'm starting off with the NYX eyeshadow base. This is the first video with the new hair color, so I'm super excited to see how this is gonna look on camera. <laughs> first up is the crease color, which is this color right here. I'm pretty sure this palette has every color we're gonna need for this entire look. I'm hoping not to use anything else, but we'll see. So just applying that in my crease. I want this look to be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> and to do the whole thing with as many drugstore products as possible, like for the eyes, I mean, for the skin, I'm probably not gonna use drugstore for this, but for the eyes, I wanna use as many drugstore products as possible and just make it look so good. That is the goal. <laughs> Taking that same color and the same brush still, and we're sweeping the color along my lower lash line. It's okay to use a fluffier, bigger brush for this because this is the, that is just the base color underneath. We're gonna pile a lot more colors, so we want that eyeshadow to come down pretty low. We want it to be thick because we want to be able to see it after we add all the other layers as well. Next, I am taking the darkest color from the palette, the dark brown. And I'm using a flat eyeshadow brush. This is Mint Brush 22. So for my hair color, it was definitely a procedure. This is the lightest I've been in a very, very long time. Going from my color to this, it took a while. It took about five hours. If you guys want me to do a full video on my hair and like go into details of exactly how she did it, the entire process, let me know please in the comments and I'll do a dedicated video to it. So I'm just blending out that edge really gently. So to me what makes really great eyeshadows is how pigmented they are and how easy they are to blend. Uh, so far, Blending is great, pigmentation, not bad. Going back and adding a little bit more and blending out again. Next up, it's time for the green shadows. I'm gonna work with this one and I really wanna pack this color on so I'm actually going to use a little bit of the MAC Fix Plus. Sorry, this is not drugstore, guys, but you could always use um, a makeup setting spray as well. The L'Oreal one is really good. So you could spray the setting spray onto your brush and then dip it into the eyeshadow. That will make the eyeshadow a lot more pigmented. Ooh. Oh yeah. Okay, so this is definitely a darker green. So we're gonna use this and the lighter green as well. But this is beautiful, guys. I really, really like this. Speaking of loving makeup, I recently did a super, super cool video with Pop Sugar. Pop Sugar, if you guys don't know, they talk about beauty, fashion, girl stuff. I did an interview with them and we talked a lot about how I got into makeup and that whole thing. And it's a very cool, personal interview. I'm gonna link it for you guys. Which side? This side? Right here. I'm gonna link it for you guys. No, is it this side? <laughs> I don't remember. Somewhere. I'm gonna link it for you guys. One of those spots right here. I would love it if you go check it out because it's a very personal 
interview and I also did a behind the scenes video of that whole day when we shot and me getting ready and all of that and that video is really cool as well so I'm gonna link it for you guys as well right here if you check it out please leave me a comment I would love to know what you guys think of it um and yeah okay so i'm getting a little bit of fallout but that's okay we'll wipe it off after i'm going to go in with the lighter green from the palette the lighter green and the bronzy tone as well oh that's nice that's cool i love how it kind of gives it so much dimension now So pretty so I've been totally listening to all of the feedback I've been getting you guys getting from you guys in comments and I appreciate it so much I love it and I know that you guys love my makeup tutorials and I will always continue to do makeup tutorials but I've really come to the conclusion that I want my channel to be more than that. I want to be able to explore and do different things that I really love. So I hope you guys are gonna be into it. I hope you guys will support it. I would really appreciate it if you do. I'm actually filming my very first home decor video this week and it's a collab with another really really great channel so i hope you guys love it i just hope you guys are excited about seeing different type of content on my channel and it not just being makeup tutorials all the time i hope you guys are into it that would make me very happy if you are <laughs> i'm taking the dark brown shadow one more time and i'm using a little pencil brush we're going to use this for our lower lash line And I'm just going back and forth and adding more product to get it nice and dark. Taking the bronzy tone, using that in the inner corner. Next, I'm taking the L'Oreal Smoldering, oops. <laughs> the voluminous smoldering eyeliner which is a really good drugstore coal pencil and then running that into my waterline and then lastly for the eyes I'm going in with the shimmery gold shadows these two shadows and using them in the center part of my lid I'm also adding the lightest color that has a bit of shimmer to it just in the inner corner. Oh, that's so shimmery, I love that. And then the lightest color in the palette, this one right here, is matte, so it is perfect for just underneath the brow bone, just to kind of blend everything out and clean up the look. We did get just a bit of fallout, so I'm just wiping that away, and, and now it's time for lashes. Curling my lashes, and then I'm gonna be adding these lashes from Vegas Nay, the Grand Glamour Lashes. I did cut these lashes just a bit because I felt like they were too long, so they extended too far out on my eye. So don't forget, if the lashes are too long, which is pretty often the case, you do need to just snip them a bit on the ends. These lashes are so easy to put on. I know you can get them from Target, but if there's any other place that you guys know of where you can get these lashes, please uh, let all of us know. Because these lashes have a thicker base, you can see where the eyelash ends and it kind of makes it really obvious that they're falsies. Obviously, we know you're wearing falsies, but even more obvious because it's like, just stops right there. So I'm taking this eyeliner from CoverGirl and I'm using that to mainly conceal the base of the false lashes. So getting that right in the inner corner. 
And I'm also gonna draw a wing just to extend this eye out. eyes are done and I was able to do with all drugstore which is awesome I'm gonna speed through the skin really quickly and then finish up the look using the makeup forever ultra HD foundation the Mac pro long wear concealer set everything with powder and the powder that I'm using is from Lancome. Also adding a bit of bronzer, this one is from MAC. Next up are eyebrows and I'm using this eyebrow pencil from Makeup Forever. For blush, I'm using this beautiful orangey tone from this Guerlain palette. I love orangey blushes when I'm doing kind of like bronzy, summery looks. And I especially love how it looks when you have like super tan skin. Orange tone blush is just beautiful. Adding a bit of the highlighter from that palette as well. And then lastly, for lips, I'm using this color from Maybelline. It is their Vivid Matte Liquid. And this color is number five, Nude Thrill. <laughs> they always make those letters so small to read. These matte liquids from Maybelline are really nice. They go on super creamy, but they dry super matte, so it's a nice texture. This is a great color for this look. Oh my God, I love it. So this is going to dry matte. It looks like a little bit shiny in the beginning, but it does totally go matte. So it'll keep all the shimmer on just the eyes. That is it guys, that is the final look. I hope you guys love it. If you aren't already, make sure you are following me on all my socials, Snapchat, Instagram, at Iman Makeup. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And that's it, I will see you guys in another video very, very soon. Love you guys. Bye! <laughs> that was weird. <laughs>